When trying to log in on your Xbox 360 to Xbox Live, are you getting this disconnect message? And that's not all. It then continues to sign in, like you can see on screen here right now. And then you get this other message which pops up saying it's still trying to sign in. But then you get hit with this, the 8015190A error. Well, this is how you fix it. First thing, make sure your console can connect to Xbox Live. So click on yes here so we can run a little connection test just to make sure Xbox Live is actually live and up and available for your Xbox to communicate with it and also to make sure that the connection from your Xbox to the internet is working. So click on your network, which you're on. So I'm clicking on this one here. Then you want to click on test Xbox Live connection. It'll say it'll sign you out. Just click on yes and let the test run. So first thing it will test, you can see here is the network, which is testing while well, it has also signed us out. I think it tests three things the last time, last time I tried this. So let it do that, it will then test the internet, which hopefully you get a little white circle with a black tick inside it. It's thinking about it, it's thinking about it. There we go, we've got another tick. And now we want the third tick for Xbox Live. So just give it a second and hopefully we get three ticks and that is the first part to getting this solved. If you don't get three ticks, this is a completely different problem you have. Go and Google how to connect your Xbox to the internet. So. We've got three ticks, we are good to go. Let's then head on out of here and go back to our home screen. So you can see here, it's loaded up. We are still not connected, even though we got all the ticks. It says here, join the fun, go online to discover games and apps, asking us to sign up or sign in. Obviously we have an account already, so I'm going to click sign in to see if this has fixed it. We're clicking on it there. There's my avatar dancing about happy with life, thinking he's getting on to Xbox Live. We've got this disconnected pop up again, which is not what we want to see, but it means we are on the path to getting this fixed. So just let it do its thing. It's signing in again, and we get this error message, 8015190A. So this time you don't want to run the test. We now know that the Xbox and Xbox Live is working the way it needs to for us to connect to Xbox Live. So you just want to click on no this time and get rid of this error message. Once you've got rid of the error message, now we need to head on over to our PC, tablet or phone and you will need to head on over to the Microsoft account. You can see here we've got the Microsoft account up. I've already signed in and you want to go to my Microsoft account. This will be the same account you use for Xbox Live or Xbox Game Pass, whatever it is you have right now. Let it load up and we want to go to subscriptions. You can see here it says Xbox Game Pass. So my Game Pass Ultimate is on right now and it runs out in May 13th, 2027. So this will happen for any level of Game Pass you have or Xbox Live, if that is still even running, I don't think it is. But what you want to then do is go to recurring billing and turn it off. Trust me, this is really weird. This took me ages to figure this out. I was doing my head in. All week, I've not been able to get onto my Xbox 360. Click on this. This window will pop up saying, find something that suits you better, fancy a cheaper version of Game Pass. Just click no, turn off recurring billing. It's fine. Your Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, whatever it is you've got right now, will stay active until the end date. So it's not actually stopping anything. You can see here your subscription will end on the 12th of May, 2027. You won't be charged again. So now we're going back to the page we're at and you can see here, turn on recurring billing. So you now want to turn it back on. It'll ask you, are you going to pay with whatever your payment method was? I've got PayPal there. Click on buy. You will not be charged anything. This just means that when May the 12th, 2027 for me comes along, they will then charge me for the next month of Game Pass. So here we go. Billing for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate will occur every month. Just ignore all this, just click on done. Absolutely nothing changes, so don't worry about doing this. Just follow these steps exactly the way I've done it. And now you want to make sure your Xbox is turned off. So turn off your Xbox 360, and now you want to turn it back on. So now we're back on over to my Xbox 360. It is now just booting up, and let's see what error messages we get this time, if any. So 
the thing that's good about this video is you can just follow it along in real time. This is me doing this in real time. I've not done any edits or changes here. So just follow along. We're going back to Game Pass, sign in, click on your avatar's profile. So there's my little dude over there with his Xbox t-shirt. He's looking happy, he's dancing, but will we get into Xbox Live? Let's see. Just give it a second. Signing in never is really quick on the 360, so just be patient with it and let it do its thing. We've still not had a disconnected, which is good. So there we go. Murray is signed in to Xbox Live. It's working. We're back in. And you can see here, we've now got the... Well, this is the gutted dashboard now. So this is after the Xbox Marketplace has closed down. This is when this error started popping up for me. So I thought it was something to do with the Marketplace closing. I don't know if it was. I think it's actually something to do with maybe having... Um, I don't know if it's multiple Xboxes because I've got 360, I've got the Xbox Series X and the Series S all in my account. So I don't know if that's messing up with my Game Pass account because I'm signing into them all at different times. But this should help you. You'll be back online. Let me know down below in the comments if this works for you. If it didn't, I'll try and help you out in the comments section. But you can see here we're now even in the Avatar store. So we are connected to Xbox Live. It's working on the 360. It is absolutely awesome. Now, if you want to save some money on your Xbox Game Pass subscription, make sure you check out this next video on screen right now.